everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing this limited edition porcelain overbust corset made by Paper Cats. And Paper Cats is a brand based in Poland. So here's the front, side, the back, and the other side. I'm wearing the size small today, and when I took the measurements myself, the waist was 23 inches, the full bust here was 33 inches, so a 10 inch bust spring, and the hip here at the lower edge here by the lap is uh, 35 inches, so it has a 12 inch hip spring. Comparing this to the size chart that they have on the Paper Cats website, uh, the waist is supposed to be 58 centimeters or about uh, 22.8 inches. The full bust was supposed to have uh, a measurement of 80 centimeters, which is 31 and a half inches. So I actually measured the bust as being slightly bigger than what they have on the website, which is not a problem for me. I actually appreciate it. And then the low hip here was supposed to have a measurement of 88 centimeters, which is about 34 and a half inches. So it's a, kind of close to what I measured. <clears throat> and for the length of this corset, the center front here is 14 inches. Uh, the peak of the bust here, it measures 16 and a half inches. Uh, 10 of those inches is from the waist up, six and a half from the waist down here. So even though I consider a corset with 16 and a half inches to probably fit me okay, uh, because I have a low waist and a long waist, I would prefer uh, more of that length to be distributed from the waist up instead of the waist down. So if you have a protruding lower tummy and you like to have a little bit more coverage over your lower tummy, uh, this might be a good fitting corset for you. But if you have a low and long waist like me, uh, you may feel more comfortable wearing a chemise or something underneath this so that you feel a little bit more covered up. And uh, moving on, uh, at the side seam here, it is 14 and a half inches long. And in the center back, it's 14 inches long again, like the center front. The pattern of this corset is very comfortable. I find it very flattering. Uh, the ribs are very, very gently cupped here. And of course, the hips are cupped as well. I don't have any pinching on my iliac crest, which is important. And turning to the quarter profile here, you can see that uh, the pattern of the corset, it curves over the breast. It doesn't flatten it straight. And it kind of curves up and over, which helps to hold you in a little bit better. So let's go to the tabletop portion of this review and I can show you the details of this corset up close. All right, so here's the Paper Cats corset laid flat and for the materials, it's two main layers. The fashion fabric here is this blue on white toile de jouis with uh, these Japanese inspired uh, pictures or uh, scenes on it. So you can see that uh, here's some cherry blossoms over here, other trees, uh, floral patterns, uh, some temples over here. Uh, a few birds flying. It's really beautiful. And on the inside, it is lined in a white cotton twill. This is what the label looks like, Paper Cats Limited Edition. Uh, here is the size and the country of manufacture. And here is the fabric content and washing instructions. Because of the busy print on the outside, it's actually a little bit easier to see the pattern on the inside. So it has a six panel pattern, 12 panels total. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you can see uh, there's a lot of the bus curve between panels one and two here. Uh, panels three and four is where you see most of the ease of the hip, and panel five and six is uh, not too curvy. It's just uh, basically rounding out the back there. And this corset was constructed using the welt seam method. So actually, I believe they started with the back seam here, and they put the two layers together for that one, and then the two layers together for panel five, and then through panel four, onward to the center front here. This is different from the sandwich method that you might have seen before, where you put together the entire uh, fashion fabric and the entire lining fabric, and then you just put them together. And feeling for a waist tape and holding it up to the light, I believe this corset does not have a waist tape in it. And the binding is made from blue cotton bias tape here, it's machine stitched on the outside and also on the inside here. Uh, you can see that they actually started on the inside and then they more or less stitched in the ditch here to uh, finish the binding on the outside with a very tiny top stitch. And on the inside there are no garter tabs in this corset.
The modesty panel in the back of this corset is a little over six inches wide, uh, about four inches of usable space, and it's finished in the same toile de jouet on the outside and the white cotton uh, twill on the inside here. Uh, there's also a modesty placket on the uh, the knob side of the busk here, extending out. It's about three quarters of an inch wide, again finished in the same toile de jouet, and it's unstiffened. The busk in this corset is 13 inches long and it has six loops and pins equidistantly spaced. It's one inch wide on each side, but it is still fairly flexible as you can see here. There are 14 bones in this corset, not including the busk, seven on each side. It is single boned on the seams here with a quarter inch wide spiral bones here. And in the back, there are also two quarter inch wide flat steel bones sandwiching the grommets. There's a total of 30 two-part grommets in the back of this corset, 15 on each side. They are set equidistantly, about an inch apart here, and uh, they are finished in silver with a pretty small flange around them. You can see that all of them are uh, holding in pretty well here. And on the back of this corset, uh, you can see that the washes are pretty small, but they are present. The grommets used in this corset, it seems very similar to the size zero um, grommets that came with my C-Step machine. So that perhaps this is the same brand that they're using. Um, they all seem to be holding in fairly well. Uh, there's only a bit of like minor fuzzies, uh, like for instance, right there. Uh, it doesn't seem to be damaged. It might just be like a fuzz that was caught underneath the grommet when they were setting it here. But I would personally not use this corset for uh, waist training or anything because there's no waist tape in this corset. It's single boned. Um, the grommets are a little bit on the small side and it's an overbust corset as well. And overbust corsets are a little bit more difficult to waist train in anyways. Uh, the laces that came with this corset is this uh, sort of royal blue round nylon cord here. This is not my favorite type of lacing actually, and uh, you can see that they laced it in the chevron style, but see this one's over on the right side, this one's under, this one's over, this one's under, so it's kind of messily laced. Not a huge issue because this can obviously be relaced. Uh, and I'm probably going to put a double face satin ribbon in this later on anyways, because I feel that uh, a corset this pretty should have pretty laces as well. Uh, but these ones, a little bit of spring to them, but they're, they seem pretty difficult to snap. They don't catch on the grommets. It's long enough and it laces up pretty easily. It holds the bow well. The Papercast website lists this porcelain overbust corset at 189 Polish zloty, and if you uh, click the toggle to US dollars, it is $54 US. For those curious, I'm based in Canada and I paid about an extra $20 for shipping on top of that. So it came to $74 US total. And this concludes my review of the porcelain overbust corset made by Paper Cats. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, remember to click that like button down there as it helps support this channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or Paper Cats in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer your questions. And if you own this corset or a different corset by Paper Cats, let us know what you think of it and how you like it in a comment down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week for another video. Bye.